Hey, welcome back to Modern News Basics. I'm PG Taibati. Today we're looking at uh, some considerations for defenses, particularly concentrating on blocks. All right, so now we're considering defenses, uh, and we're going to start with blocking. But I like to think of defending against an attack as in a spectrum. Either you're not there, don't be there. Best block in the world is don't be there. Aren't you Raymond Montoya told me this a long time ago, and it's a great thing to remember. Best block in the world, don't be there. All the way from there to blocking to disarming. And there's places in between, like pairing is in between not being there and blocking. Um, controlling is in between blocking and disarming. But the spectrum is spanned really well by thinking of evade, block, and disarm. As we look at the basic blocks, single stick again, there's several named blocks. And we're going to talk about the, the blocks in general. We're going to talk about ways to do them and then how to use them. Okay? So, You've got sweep blocks. Sweep blocks are going to be either across or across and back. Across and back, those are sweep, sweeping across. And it can be low, it can be low. Um, if my tip is down, I just came from a low strike and somebody's blocking here or attacking here, I might do a tip down block. That's still a sweep block, but it's tip down. We've also got a roof block, okay. a shield block. Both of those are considered umbrella blocks or in Filipino Tagalog, it's a kasilagang. Um, but notice I'm moving with each one. Now as you do these basic blocks, you can do them a variety of ways. So if I just take a look at right now, a microscope, put a microscope on the sweep blocks, I can do the, mic the sweep blocks unbraced, just swinging through, okay? I can do them braced, braced, okay? I can do them dos manos, right? So I can go up here, block, block, okay? So, unbraced, braced, dos manos. That's your three characteristics or, or types of blocks that you're gonna do for each of these things. You can do the other blocks that way too. If I'm gonna do the low blocks, I might actually choke up on it when I do the low ones. When I uh, do the high ones, I might dos manos this way. I might brace with my forearm um, or unbrace to there, okay? Same thing here, I might brace, I might I'm probably not going to do those models that way, but I might go those models that way. So an important point to remember with blocking is, what is a block trying to do? A block is trying to stop the attack from getting at you. You are there, it's trying to get to you, you are stopping it. So a block is, by definition, a stop. A few things let that happen. The first one, and my biggest pet peeve, is when people wait. Okay? The attack's coming in, I'm going to put up my stick and block it that way. In reality, that's not going to happen. They're coming at with very hard, very fast. They're having a cat to heck that's trying to, to get to you. If you just hold up your stick like this, it's going to deflect. You're not going to do what you think you do. So you need to actually meet their attack or come at their attack. You also need to move either into it or range, change your range like we discussed in the last video about ranges. You need to be active with your block. It cannot be... I'm, I'm waiting for the attack. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> They're going to do a couple things. One, it's going to power overpower. Two, even if they don't overpower, if you're waiting, that means you're static. They're going to see that. They're going to change up their attack. They're going to go around you. I'm going to go here. Oh, yeah, try to attack me that way. They're not going to do that. That's in the way. Make sense? So if they come at you with attack, you're going to block it and meet it. Okay? You're going to stop it. Now, when I'm moving here, what I'm doing is I'm either jamming it so it doesn't get the full power, or I am fading with it so that I miss the full power. So if you think about an attack as an arc, the apex of the power is right where it's going to hit you. So you want to block it either before that or after that, okay? After that, you've already done a little bit of evasion, right? Because otherwise it's going to hit you. Uh, before that, you're jamming it. But your block to stop that motion should not be when the motion is at its most powerful. So avoid that apex power. You do that normally by jamming, but sometimes you might do by fading. Okay, that sets you up for a counterattack really well. Let's go work with a partner, and I can show you some of these concepts more clearly. All right, so we're going to look at an attacker attacking us, and I'm going to make some of the points that I already described um, with against a person. So he comes in and attacks me. If I don't do anything, he hits me. Right. So there's a couple of things I have to do. Remember, we're talking about blocks. A block is force on force, so make sure it does that. So he comes in, I stop that motion. He's stopped, I did not just do this. I didn't come up and step in and go, 
Here, hit my stick. Okay, because what's going to happen? If he sees that, if I step in and, and try to just shield, he's going to go around the shield. Why would he hit the shield? So I come in here and he hits. Oh, he might abort there, or he might just hit lower, right? He might go here and, ooh, because I was sitting there going, I'm here. He's not going to go through that. So what I need to do is he's going to be an attack. I see where the attack is. I attack his attack. That's really how blockers work. Remember I said force on force. So for a block to work, the attack comes in, I force on force it to stop it. If I meet it with the same force as it's coming, that will stop it. If I meet it with more force, I will deflect it with a force on force. I can also deflect it by going with it. We'll talk about that in the next class. But the idea is I have to meet it. So again, he can come in from the backhand strike, so you can see a different angle, and he's gonna hit me if he comes in, right? So I come in, I jam it, okay? I still got this hand here just in case he wanted to keep following through. If he keeps following through, I've got that hand there. Now, I can also do that, dos manos. He comes in, okay, it bounced off, I stopped it so well. Even if he uses two hand strike, dos manos is great, okay? I met it though. Again, I didn't just go here, try to hit me. He's not gonna do that because that's in the way, okay? If I did that, he might hit me lower, right? He comes in, he tries to hit me. Ooh, he didn't need to do that because I was already covered. Make sense? All right, so the point is, I have to meet the attack for two things. One, so that he doesn't abort, he doesn't have time to abort. If I'm covered, he's gonna go somewhere else. The other thing, though, is then range, okay? So when we're talking about range, he comes and hit me, and I jam it, but I also move, okay? That means that his power is gonna be right maximum where I was going to be. But if I move away, and I block it, now I'm blocking against a weaker part of his strike. So his power is right there, and I blocked it there. I can also jam it. He comes in and strikes. I jam it before it gets through. So in this case, I jam it before it's gotten its full power and full speed. Jam it there and stop it, okay? So that's the idea with blocks. Blocks are making sure they don't hit you, but you are stopping their motion. You're affecting, you gotta move with it, and you gotta give the same power that you're getting. Otherwise, it's not gonna stop anything. Okay. He comes in, he comes overhead, he pushes through. This is gonna be weak. Okay, he's got a ton of force and power with his waist here. I'm just holding it with my hand, okay? And by the way, that's another reason that I can't stand blocks like this. This block here is not gonna stop anything. There's no fingers holding in place. So I gotta hold it good, and I gotta meet it. I'm meeting it and going out. One of the ways to think about blocks to make them effective is, is it the same power you'd use to make it a strike? If he comes in and does the same strike in, okay, I'm hitting that hand the same power that I'm gonna hit his stick. That's my block in, in real fight, okay? In the real arts. But we can't train that way and have partners. So we hit the stick and control, okay? That lets us train. But going back to that, to remember that, yeah, if I'm gonna do a block, I have to have the same power as, a, as an attack. One of the ways it gets me there is by think about hitting that hand. So the point is the block is meeting the force and stopping the motion. That's the key identifier for a block. All right, switching sides real fast. I want to give you an angle so you can see what I was talking about when a, uh, when a block ends up being a weak shield. Um, even if they go go to try to get to it, it's going to power on the way through. Okay, so he comes in. He's going to do a number one kind of downwards angle like that, like he's hitting that temple. So he's got the distance there, right? He's going to hit the head. All right, so if he's doing that and I just do this and he powers through and I don't meet him with the same power, my stick is going to buckle. He's still going to hit me, okay? So what I need to do when he comes through, I need to go... Boom, I'm hitting that stick. Okay, and I have this other hand here just for good luck. But he's coming down and I'm hitting, okay? I'm hitting that. Make sense? Now, I could have also done a dos manos. He comes in and I do dos manos. That's gonna be braced. But there's a couple things you need to worry about with dos manos. Notice that when I'm blocking him, I'm hitting him more on the belly of his stick. The reason for that is if I do this, one, he might break my stick. Two, if he follows through, he's still gonna hit me. So I delayed it, but I'm still gonna get hit. So what I need to do, like I said, is go in and he's gonna block, boom, I jam. I jam in there, so even if he follows through, boom, like that, yes. So I've stopped it from hitting me, whereas if I did it out here, boom, I still get hit. Okay. So there's a few things there. One, I met force on force. I was active, whether it's a stick, whether it's a brace stick, however I'm doing it, I need to be actively going into it, okay? Another way to practice that as an attack is if he's just standing there in a target and I make this upwards block and attack, he's just standing there, that's my block. So when I do this block, that's really an attack. I can do it the other direction. That's my block, but now it's an attack. If you think about them the same way, you can use them with the right power to be an effective block. 
if you gauge the distance right, that you didn't need to block it anymore, you then abort it to, a, to an attack. Oh, but I didn't need to block, so I made that my attack. He still continues on through. He didn't hit me, okay? So that's, that's what I'm talking about with that. Always be aware that the power isn't like an attack, the targeting can be like an attack, you can abort into an attack, but you want to make sure that your block has the right power, the right positioning, the right jamming effect, uh, so you don't get hit. So you stop the attack, that's the key. Block is stop attack, okay? All right. All right, so hopefully you liked that. Um, if you did, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll catch you the next time. The next time I think we're gonna do parrying, okay? That's a redirection. So now we're not stopping attack, we're doing some more fun things with more opportunities. All right, take care.